Hey guys, how's it going? So I'm going to take you through this look. It's just basically like a sultry romantic, um, not too intense of a smoky eye look. Perfect for date nights because, you know, you, you still want to look glammed up, but you don't want to take away from your beauty so that your date gets to actually see how you look and not hide. Um, there is, you know, I did wear quite a bit of, like, foundation. Not really, not really. It just kind of looks like it because of the way I did it. I first buffed it in. I mean, you'll see I first buffed it in and then did something else with it to just kind of make it look more airbrushed, which I think worked out really well for me. But, um... Yeah, so this is the completed look. I didn't really do anything to my hair, but just shower it, air dry, give it a really nice brush. And uh, yeah, I'm now off to go enjoy my Friday night. Hello, so let's begin with hydrating our faces, guys. Use whatever you'd like. I just, you know, make sure I have something with SPF on it and hydrate underneath. I'm using a physician's uh, formula quad called Canyon Classic uh, all over my eyes today and I'm using the medium brown shadow just to use as a transition color. And then I'm grabbing the darkest color from that palette which is this nice charcoal gray color and focusing that right on the outer corners, not blending it up a little, you know, a little further than my crease. I have no idea if that made any sense. But I mean, this video kind of shows it, so yeah, do as I'm doing and keep it on that side. Um, I'm using this really nice white matte shadow. It's probably one of my favorite eyeshadows on a natural look, as it's super opaque as long as you don't blend it off too much. And then just to make sure that everything looks nice and crisp, I'm adding a dark brown on my crease and a little bit in between the gray and the white just to make sure they blend right using a blending brush. Um, today I really wanted to keep things super simple so I just used a dark brown eyeliner to line my waterline and my lash line and my um, lower lash line and then using the other end of that brush just to smudge everything into place so that nothing looks too done up I guess you could say. Now I'm doing my eyebrows. I am the worst eyebrow drawer person, I guess you can say. I need, I definitely need more lessons on um, making my eyebrows look right and nice. But for now, I think they look fine. You know, I'm they're not perfect, but I like them. Next, I'm using my Holy Grail foundation, the uh, the Maybelline Fit Me foundation in 240. It's definitely not for every skin tone, but for my dry combination skin. It's amazing, and I'm using, I was using my Sephora 45 brush. Then use a stippling brush just to kind of buff everything in, make sure there's no streaks, and have an airbrushed finish. This part, everybody knows what this part is. I use um, concealer just a little bit underneath my eyes, and then use a light, light concealer to make sure everything is right. Literally the best powder I have ever seen. It's the Nakara Correcting Powder in Sahara. You can only buy this in Canada, I believe, but honestly, you guys, it's such an amazing powder. It's so finely milled, has no white cast, and it just, it's just nice. And this part, I think everybody knows how to do this. Contouring and blushing. Um, all the products will be listed below, so if I'm not, like, saying what color they are, I truly apologize. This isn't really a tutorial. It's kind of just like a get ready with me type of thing and then now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my two coats of mascara with uh, the L'Oreal Telescopic Shocking Extensions Mascara and the uh, L'Oreal Luminous Fiber Lashes Mascara. That was quite a handful. And then just add the finishing touches by highlighting on your important parts and making sure that everything is blended and there you go. Enjoy movie night!